Let's have a look at some EV charging connectors. We have this uh, type 2 here, which is used for AC charging. And this type 2 CCS, which is for DC fast charging. This is the shape I got them in. Cables uh, cut off. This came from that DC fast charger I torn down. I'll put a link in the description and uh, this thing on the top here. But yes, this is the shape I got them in. So let's tear them apart and see how they look inside. See here first, this is used for three phase AC charging. So it's five wires here, got the neutral, three phases here, L1, L2, L3. And the ground, here's one single wire here for communication. If you have a look at the DC charging, you have two thick wires here and one thick uh, ground. And now we've got a lot more communication. We have uh, two here and maybe the two other ones are used for temperature detection. Maybe there are some temperature sensors preventing this thing from melting in case of a bad connection. And the ground pin goes up here and the two DC pins on the bottom and two communication ports. And on this one, only one of the communication ports is in use. Let's first have a look at this uh, type 2 connector. It has uh, three screws. These are those uh, safety torques. So uh, let's just unscrew them and see how it looks inside. Yes, here we got all the six screws out of it. Let's see if it comes apart. It was really stuck in there. Here we go. Here's the press to release it. Here's a piece of the cable. Here's what the one communication wire and the other one is uh, pulled down. What's that? It's a 220 ohm resistor. These are just some uh, press fit connectors. Got the uh, safety torques here as well. They really like the safety torques. Unscrew them. Now they are unscrewed. Yeah, the whole thing pops out. And yes, these are press fit connectors. So it's not so much inside of these, just a bunch of wires. I didn't expect it to have the resistor. Let's have a look at the let's have a look at this one now. There's the big connector made by Phoenix Contact. Let's unscrew this one. I've actually got screws inside the actual connector. And where the cable enters, we have four more screws. Yes, there's a last screw.
It's actual cable uh, fitting. And this one has some uh, hex screws on it. Maybe the Torx fits. No, it doesn't. Sometimes uh, Torx and uh, hex screws uh, fit together, but not this time. I should be able to remove it. I can just poke this in. How should I get this apart? Oh, okay. You got the wires to these two. Can I just oh all the ceiling rings just fell out? Just poke this cable in. This is pretty heavy duty. Maybe this is not the right way to do it. Or maybe I'm supposed to remove this uh, ceiling ring from here. Let's try to remove that. This will not come in use anytime soon. This is the ceiling ring, prevent, preventing water from entering the housing. Yes, here we go. Look, it's pretty heavy duty made. I've got these two wires connected. I've got one uh, temperature sensor. And the little resistor here on the top is just a pull down for this terminal here, exactly as the other uh, type 2 connector had. So this one goes in here and this is the earth wire. So as you've got some temperature sensing in the positive and negative terminal. Let's try to cut out one of these uh, temperature sensors. Let's remove this cable tie. Got two term two of the wires going to one and the other two to the other. So got some individual uh, temperature sensing. Let's cut this uh, heat shrink. The temperature sensor should be the blue thing and just beside it you have this uh, 330 kilo ohm resistor. It's a pretty tiny circuit. And I'm surprised they didn't just use a off-the-shelf uh, thermistor for this. Let's measure it. So it is uh, one kilo ohm, so maybe it's some kind of PT1000. So PTC, it increases in resistance when it gets warmer. And there's the watertight heat shrink on the solder joints. I thought first that this gray wire was going inside of this. It's a gray wire here. But that wire is actually cut off here. And instead it goes to this resistor. It's unnecessary for it to go all the way into the charging station to have this resistor attached to it. Here's the other temperature sensor. With these heavy duty pressed terminals. Fifty square millimeters. 
lots of current are passing through these wires. Let's remove all the heat shrink. So yes, this is what's inside a DC fast charging connector. Hope you found this video interesting, thanks for watching.